You start modeling, and in five minutes, you already have 5,000 golf seats. And all you've made is a cube. Your topology is all over the place, and you're left with a messy pile of vert seats. <laughs> so let me show you a better method that will keep your life simple and make you happy. All right, so how do we do it? It's called block out. So let me show you. Step one, set up a window where you can see your silhouette. So all you have to do, right click, go area, and then duplicate area to the window. You see, we have this thing over here. Now I'll change this to a 3D viewport. Drag this out and then scroll down so you can see the far end. There's a little drop down, click flat, change the single and changes to black now to make this even better just click on these little two boxes to remove all the other gizmo and now you have a window that you can move around and put anywhere that has the silhouette of your model all right so for every game asset we can distill it down into the simplest shapes so if we look at this which looks very complex we can actually make it super simple so let's just look at this thing we can just like simplify this there bring this shape down there and there so you can probably break it down into like a cube that like we move over a bit this could be just like another like cube or cylinder over here and then a smaller one on top of it and then like another like horizontal cylinder like that okay and we have that piece done then for this part of the leg also there's another like cylinder go like this and then same again here another cylinder and then like up here for the top bit maybe we want to just grab like a cube and then like root down like this and we can just like mirror it across and then just have another piece that goes around it so it's a straight piece and then like a circle that it would like extrude out and we could like simplify this leg down into just those simple shapes right so modeling can be very simple and we don't have to use that complex of shapes just because like we made simple shapes when drawing of our image we can use simple shapes in modeling our model let's get like the upper leg so i have a reference on my second monitor so i kind of see what it looks like so we can even just use this and then just go like scale on the z axis and we get something like this so we could get like this and we have actual like the main part of the leg now uh then we can start adding more details so we have like the cylinder i usually like keeping them low red so i'll change the resolution of the vertices to like eight here and i'll just go scale shift z and then here do it like there we could like shift d and move it on the z twice to do the local scale shift z twice to do local and then i'm actually gonna drag this down a bit and then we're gonna have the other things so we're gonna add in another cylinder R Y Nati. There we go. Scale Shift X. So now we have it looking like that. Then we can go add in the front ones. So we can just go like duplicate these, rotate, scale Z. I think I'm just gonna go scale this up on the Y axis. It's gonna go scale down. I think this might even be like a more angle. And then this is where it might be better to like change the actual shape of it. So you can like, like get it looking better like close to the reference like that and then have like this vertices like further down and then we can drag this down a bit more have like the second one it make it like slightly smaller slightly bigger like have uh, the scale in you can see we can start blocking that up pretty quickly and then maybe you just want to like go add like an edge up here round this edge out slightly do it something from the front um just changing the just just slightly not adding that much detail but just a little bit uh, like drag this up and then we can just go add like these pieces that we have in the back it's just like rawr x starty i'm looking back to my silhouette view just to see if i'm like kind of capturing the essence of the image that i just made okay and then here so i'm just gonna like rotate like this scale it up and then we're gonna have a, another just cube or circle on the side. And then this is gonna have a plane. And if you'd like extrude that out and then just drag that out there. And there you go, you have like the shape. And then we just like gotta get these. And then we go mirror. But so let's save your block out. You can make it like as detailed as you want, but you can get something quite nice with some simple shapes. And then you can start doing some stuff to just like make it that much better. So if I go shade smooth, I'll usually go add a normals and change it to auto smooth. You can play around with the numbers, but default's like 30, uh, which starts doing it if you have low res, uh, but then just stop bumping it up. So I'll just leave it like, and then I'm going to separate everything. So I'm just going to make sure everything has the same material. So they all have the same material on the one object. And then I'm going to go add mode P, and by loose part and i can see they're all on a separate object and now if i go to shading i can start messing around adding out material so you can see already here i have black metallic so you can just better on the colors and you can just start adding nice materials uh, which makes like the edges just much better so just go add a 
bevel like that and then make the, the number like very small you can up the segments as well and change the angle as well up here to like 60 70 there's any beveling the edges over here and then some like some of this pointy stuff doesn't work well so i'm just going to deselect that and then just select it copy to select it so now they all have that bevel modifier uh, so it just rounds out the edges but that's yeah, slightly you can mess around with the color so like you can grab a object info plug that in you can see we can get like a black to white like this and you can use color wraps to mess around with it uh, and get like a range of colors uh, for your different pieces and you can do all sorts of stuff like this you can also add like ambient occlusion which i like adding so ambient occlusion so you can mess around with all these nodes uh i have another one okay and then if you mess around with the nodes you can get something pretty simple uh but like looks pretty cool i mean here i just have the object info and then i have the color ramp to plug it into it and i multiplied it with a ambient occlusion uh, just to give that like nice little shadows in the corners then i uh, just have a noise material and you can just literally just plug that in so there's noise uh mixed with there and then you get like this and then i just added this extra bit because why not it's just a dumb extra bit of materials uh, so like, i just have my metallic uh, because it's metal you can do whatever and just some simple materials can make some really nice results and then when you also finish it off with some nice lighting in the end makes it extra sick. All right, make sure to subscribe so you can see the next videos. Cheers.